All right, greetings, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> We're glad again to come back this evening. We're glad for all of you that are here. And to all of our ministers and brothers and sisters that remained over this evening. We bear witness once again, there is no God but one, and there is certainly no God with him, besides him, greater than him, equal to him. Wisdom will let you know that it's just one alone and there's not a second, not having no rival and no partners. He's too great to need another God to help him. <clears throat> <laughs> he don't need another, another God to help him to do anything. He have made the heavens alone, spread for broad the earth by himself. At this late date, why will he need help from some other God? And if there is any other God, he's confused. He don't know his position. He's weak. He's incompetent. So we're glad for the message of holiness. All right, let me update you on this. Uh, we had some more reports coming of baptism. Ten so far here in HQ. Here in Philadelphia. Two in Memphis, Tennessee. Two in Texas. One in Rocky Mount. Two in Canada. Two more in Detroit. And one in Florence, South Carolina. So that's a blessing. I uh, received word today from my brother uh, who we put in trust to somewhat help manage the project in Lumberton, Brother McFadden and Brother Ron. They're from Fayette, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, the work should start this weekend in the Lumberton, North Carolina area. So that's a blessing. <clears throat> So I have to fly from one place to the other while work getting started. And from there go to here and go there and there's a lot saving people so. All right, let's dive into the words of God. And I do mean the words of God. God's words is strong, it's perfect. It opened the minds of the simple. But it's us all on the straight path. Yes, Even if you don't want to be on the straight path, you will hear the right information that will put you on it. Yes, then it's up to you whether you want to accept the journey or reject it. That's right. All right. Uh, I want the seventh chapter of the wisdom of Solomon. We read some of that this morning, and it was good. And I must say, I believe like one scripture, I suppose this is good for the present distress. The world is stressing out over who Jesus is. Preachers are trying to figure it out until they're just making up stuff. They've been making up stuff before I was born. I was reading a little bit some of the comments uh, from the message this morning, and <clears throat> somebody said, Pastor Jennings, these preachers on social media, why they keep trying to be like you and Williams? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch them, but perhaps they obsess. Yes. <laughs> obsess. I mean, if you fight something, you shouldn't want to be like it. Amen. I don't want to be like no woman. No. I'm glad the way God made me. That's right. Amen. That's right. I don't think you put anything out of place. And I ain't asking God to help me understand my gender. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> I'm not doing that. No. So when you watch these fellas over social media, whoever they are, trying so hard to be like the truth of God, 
And they ask me, why are men like this? It's what I call jealous admiration. They're jealous of you because they don't have the respect that you have and the work that God gave you to do, he didn't give them to do. So they try hard to destroy what God have done and get upset because nobody, and here the old man now, nobody can put a dent in this. Not a crack, not a dent, nothing. Nothing. So I don't mind men over social media talking about Pastor Jennings. Preach us. <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm telling you, they read Moses in the synagogue every Sabbath day. That's right. Now, let me relate something to you because there's many people that came to the truth of God because they heard a lot of false prophets talking about us. Yeah. Some didn't even, never heard of Pastor Jennings. There are many writing me now and saying that uh, they had to thank God for the false prophet that was fighting us. There's one false prophet in Atlanta some years ago. I never met him to this day. Not, not that I'm missing anything. But he was yelling about me for a long time. And there were people in Germany that was watching him over social media. I didn't have a church in Germany at the time. But he yelped about us so much. Germans wanted to know who was I. And they logged on to the truth of God. And they said they got hooked ever since. They forgot about him and got hooked on the truth of God. Message. And the first brother was Brother Phil. He heard of me from a false prophet, flew from Germany to America and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and been walking with the truth ever since. A lot of these false prophets talk about me because they want me to call their name. I don't care about your name. I don't care about your name. In fact, I don't even care about you. Other than that, you be saved. If you don't want to be saved, well, go to hell. That'll take care of you. My God, that'll take care of you quick. But I don't mind you talking about Pastor Jennings. Preach me. You know that's going to make them mad with you. Yes, it will. Preach me. <laughs> Call my name. That's right. <laughs> Minister Shabazz, he tickled me every time he, he said, I want you to pray for me. I said, I'm praying for you, Shabazz. He said, listen, you call my name. <laughs> so I want to say to you false prophets that hate the truth of God, I want you to be ever so kind. Call my name. That's right. <laughs> call my name. I want you to say it every time now. You better obey what I'm telling you. <laughs> And when you find preachers every time they get up yelling about Pastor Jennings, just say, they obeying him. That's right. They obeying Pastor Jennings. That's right. I want you to obey me. Do what I tell you. And I want you to use your airtime to talk about Pastor Jennings. Because there's some folk who don't know us. Right. Whoever you may be, I want you to run ahead of me. And introduce me. To them that's dumb enough to watch you. And then come over here and walk with the word of God. <laughs> Amen. All right, Williams. Let's start carving the Bible. Let's start cutting now. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, and we're at verse 1. All right. I myself also am a mortal man. I am flesh and blood. Like to all. Like to everybody else. And the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. I'm the offspring of Adam. And in my mother's womb. Do you womb, see what I mean? That's, that's wonderful. Seeing the things of Seeing it. That's wonderful. The offspring of him. That was first made of the earth. That's not God. No. no. For God is not made. That's right. And God is not of the earth. Of the earth. He's in the earth. That's right. But he's not of it. Wonderful. So it's talking about we that spring from the first father, earthly father, that's right. Adam. That's right. All right. And in my mother's and in my mother's womb and was fashioned to be flesh. And my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh. In the time of ten months. Did you months. hear this? Fashioned in the flesh. 
How long? In the time of 10 months. Somebody say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. You know that's a misquote there. Because the baby's only in there nine months. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. There's some children in there six months. That's right. Some eight months. Yeah. Some seven. Yeah. Some 10, some 11. That's right. There's some women being labeled long. Oh, that's right. Most women, when they get in, when they drive in, they want to drive out. Huh. Yeah, man. They drive to that operator room. They want, they want to unload that package. That's right. Quick. Quick. Get rid of the pain. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I done been, uh, took seven trips. <laughs> With my wife. Took seven trips. I thank God none of the labor was long. Amen. I remember when, they had, when the cell phones, before they come out with the little ones, remember the cell phones that you can buy stationary and put it in your car? And I remember I was, just came off 95 and came off York. Made a left on York to Greater to come to Frankfurt. My wife called me. Where you at? I said, I'm on my way to church. She said, it's time to go in. <laughs> Amen. Brother, I pressed that accelerator. Yeah. And spent around and was gone. But with all the children, when she got in, they were ready to come out. Wow. I mean, they, 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 they come out. I mean, when I get there, go in, bam, out. Wow. <laughs> well, a woman, she don't want that labor long. No. That's pain. Painful. The quicker that thing is over with, the better. That's right. Listen. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh. Fashioned hmm. to be flesh. In the time of 10 months. In the time of 10 months. Being compacted in blood. I was compact. Yeah. My hmm. God, listen, you don't need no medical records. Just go to the book here. <laughs> Amen. God not only makes you, but he tell you how he done it. That's right. He compacts you. Being compacted in blood. You were compact. All oh, with natural life, make sure every part of your body gets thoroughly nurtured. That's right. Compact in blood. Of the seed of man. Of, the, of man's seed. And now, the, now, mm -hmm. I want you to hear this. Mm -hmm. Within the seed of man lie the characteristics of the father, be it good or bad. Within the egg that's protected by a wall, within the woman, the characteristics of the woman is in there. So when man's seed fertilize the egg and unite to create one child, then that child take on the characteristics of both father and mother. And in some cases, they may have more characteristics of the father than the mother or may have more characteristics of the mother more than the father. That's right. Now, here we are. God stretch. Yeah. Discharging the seed of God's word to you. That's right. That you may become fertile and be pregnant that Christ may be formed in you. That you may take on the characteristics of God and pull off your character. That's right. That's the purpose of submitting to the word of God that you may pull off the old man. My little children. Do you hear this? In the book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 19. My little children. Of whom I travail in whom, birth Wait again. a minute. The apostle Paul preaching. By yes. God's permission. Yeah. My little children of whom I. I travail. Ah, you ever seen a man travail in birth? Amen. A man? A man. Travail in birth? Of whom I travail in birth. That man is carrying around God. Mm. Yeah. Amen. He got, hallelujah, glory to God. He got the word of God in him, mm. carrying it. Hallelujah. And that word is formed in the man. That's right. Listen. Of whom I travail in birth it hurts again. While he's carrying it. Huh? Hallelujah. The word that he carry Hallelujah. gives him pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah. You know that woman when she's pregnant, sometimes you can see the baby moving in the belly. Hallelujah. That's the way it is with the Spirit of God. That's right. The Spirit of God move all in the belly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It has rivers of living water Hallelujah. out from the belly. Hallelujah. Over time. Hallelujah. That's 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 God. Hallelujah. Out from the belly shall flow rivers, rivers living water. Of living water. So just like the baby moves around in the body of its mother, the members of the body of Christ move around in God's bride. That's right. Amen. That's why you need the spirit. That's right. Amen. When that baby not moving, the mother worry. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, oh, yes. Thank God, want to be sure. Glory be to God that the baby is not dead. Hallelujah. The body Hallelujah. without the spirit yes. is dead. It's dead. Hallelujah. Don't tell me you have the Holy Ghost and you don't have it. There ain't no moving, no moving there. That's right. Got to be some movement sometime. Why? Living water is Living there. Living water. And That's he right. testified and said it's going to spring up. But whosoever Hallelujah. drinketh of the yeah. Amen. It's going to spring up, Who, I said. Whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give Jesus him. Jesus said, whoever drink of the water that I give. Shall never thirst. You won't get thirsty. Hallelujah. But the water That's that up. I Hallelujah. shall give him. But the water that, that I. I shall give him. What's going to happen? Shall be in him. It shall be where? In him. How's it going at? A well of water A springing well. up. Hallelujah. Go and take off. Hallelujah. It shall be well, hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Of living water. Bible said this spake he. Of what? Hallelujah. Of the spirit. Of the spirit. So if you have, hallelujah, glory to God. If you have the Holy Ghost hallelujah. from on high. Hallelujah. Said, hallelujah. Said, hallelujah. hallelujah. He said it as living, living water. It'll make you alive. He that believeth on me. Jesus said. In St. John chapter 7 and verse 38. Yes. He that believeth on me. He that believeth. On me. On me. As the scripture had said. Wait a minute. Amen. You, you turn Brother Williams' microphone up that stationary now. Because his head said it's slipping. So you just turn up the one that's stationary. I don't want no one to miss nothing. Hallelujah. I want you to listen good in him. St. John 7 and verse 38. Yeah. He that believeth on me. He. Hallelujah. Jesus talking. He that believeth on hallelujah. me. He that believeth. On me. On me as. As the scripture had said. As what? As the scripture had said. What had happened? Out of his belly shall flow rivers. Yeah, hallelujah. Come on, take on. Hallelujah. Out of his belly <laughs> shall flow rivers. rivers. Of living water. Of living water. But this spake he. What was he talking about? Of the spirit. He was talking about the spirit. Which they that believe on him should receive. That they <laughs> which believe on him. Should receive. Should obtain. For the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost have not yet been given because Jesus. Was not yet glorified. Glorification took place Hallelujah. at the day of resurrection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the spirit. Hallelujah. That body put on the same glory that the spirit had. Hallelujah. Elevated it from the natural state of being. Hallelujah. It's written how it was sown of natural body. Yes. But raised. Spiritual body. Spiritual body. Spiritual body. And he walked around here for a good length of time That's right. with that spiritual with that body. Spirit. That's right. Making sure that the apostles had the teaching right. That's right. Damn, I want to make sure that uh, nothing changed after he died. Then open he their understanding. Because you know, sometimes you can teach someone, but then when you die, they wander away from it. That's right. Amen. But he, he, he come on back and reinforced it. That's he right. come on back and upbraided them. That's right. Reinforced it and let them know. He let them know, look, these are the words that I speak unto you while I was with you. That all that things, all must, things be fulfilled. must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And then open, open he their he. understanding. Now, viewers, that's what I'm trying to get over to you. <laughs> what makes the way of God so beautiful? <laughs> and so, right. Hallelujah. <laughs> The understanding of the apostles were opened. That's right. By the spirit of the living God. That's right. He opened up their understanding that, that they, they might, might understand the scriptures. Understand the scriptures, the scriptures and said unto them. Thus it is written. Look at Jesus. Hallelujah. Even after death, you couldn't get him away from the scriptures. Thus it is written. <laughs> God, Hallelujah. after death, he go right back to scripture. That's right. Thus it is written. And thus it behooved Christ it to behoove suffer. It behooved Christ. To suffer. Christ. And it behooved Christ it. to suffer. Christ. Christ. 
not talking about the spirit. No. You listen, you got the spirit of Christ. That's right. That was in the prophets that made them prophesy. That's right. And you have the flesh of Christ. That's right. It's born unto you this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ, the Lord. The Lord. That's the flesh of Christ. That's right. And then you have the spirit of Christ right. that was in the flesh of Christ. Right. And the flesh got its title from the spirit. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And thus it is written. It's written. And thus it behooved Christ and to suffer. It behooved Christ to suffer and arise from the dead the third day. And that repentance. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name. Among all nations. Where are we going to begin at? Beginning at Jerusalem. Glory to God. Amen. All right. Let's go back to where we were. Good right. moving of the spirit, you know. Amen. Listen at this. Back in the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 and verse 1. Yes. I myself also am a mortal man. I myself I'm a human being. Like to all. Like to everybody else. And the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Come from the first man, Adam. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh. <clears throat> yes. In the time of ten months. Uh -huh. Being compacted in blood. Compacted in blood. Of the seed of man. Of the seed of man. And the pleasure that came with and sleep. And the pleasure that came with what? With sleep. With sleep. And when I was born. You know, it's a beautiful thing to get some sleep. Yes, it is. Hey, Amen. I need plenty of it. <laughs> yes, you do. And when I leave here, I plan on getting it. Amen. Sometime when I make an attempt to get it, I can't get it when I want to. Amen. Phone's ringing. Sometime my wife said, listen, I'm going to take the phone out of here. Are you expecting the call? I say, you know, I don't have to expect them. <laughs> they just come. Oh, yeah. I say, well, you just answer them. That's all. You just answered them. All right, come on. And when I was born, yes. I drew in the common air. I drew in the common air. The common air. The common air. Uh -huh. yeah. And fell upon the earth. Yes. Which is of like nature. All right. And the first voice which I uttered was crying as all others do. Yes. I was nursed in swaddling clothes. I was nursed in swaddling clothes. And, and that Talk was about cares. when it was a baby. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Did you hear that? For there is no king. There is no king. That had any other beginning of birth. What is wisdom teaching us here? Amen. Regardless of how great Amen. you believe you are. That's right. Or how small. Oh, yes. You all arrive the same way. Same way. That's right. He made all nations of one blood. That's right. And everybody got to come back if you get this. And obey the same thing in order to be right with God. That's right. Men can exalt themselves and praise themselves and put themselves high as they want. Go <laughs> on up until you, until you can't even reach yourself. You're so high up. That's right. That's, that's something. That's something. Hmm. Can't reach your own self. You're just that high up. Amen. But when you come back down. Yes. And you know God going to bring you down. Oh, yeah. How rich you are, who cares? Who cares? What you drive, who cares? Who cares? Amen. I wouldn't care if you drive a Rolls Royce pulled by a thousand horses. <laughs> That's right. And when you open up your engine, you got uh, animals in there as your actual engine power. There's a cheetah under there just running, <laughs> Lord. making a fan belt turn, a real cheetah. My Lord. I saw that's some real horsepower, that's isn't it? Horsepower. That's all right. That's right. Everybody is here for a short period of time. For all men have one entrance into life. Do you hear this, viewers? Still in the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 and verse We're 6. We're taking this route to show you you're nothing but a fool when you reject God. That's right. You can hate me all you want. Pfft, get over that. Hating right. me ain't going to do nothing. No. You're going to have to come on back. You hate me as if I wrote the Bible. I didn't write this beautiful book here. <laughs> That's right. This book hurts Geno Jennings. Oh, yeah. It hurts Williams. Oh, yes. Hurts Dan the Man Stasiak. Amen. Hurts Todd, the Evangelist. <laughs> That's right. It hurts everybody. Everybody. You upset because you feel the pain. <laughs> you feel the pain. Oh, yes. And uh, anytime anybody got in mind, just got in mind, yeah. you ain't even started to do it yet. The moment you start to get in mind, That's look right. out. That's right. Hey, you may as well expect problems because the devil going to bring things that try to keep you from obeying it. That's right. 
Listen at this. For all men have one entrance into life. All of you. You may as well humble yourself, mister. Oh, yes. I don't care if you're white as dough, black as ashes, yellow as a school bus, clear as water. That's right. Hey, Amen. Don't look at what you have because if you don't have God, you don't have nothing at all worth having. That's right. What did he say? For all men. Everybody. Have one entrance into life. Came in here one way. And the light. Hey, none, of, none of you fell from heaven. <laughs> no. None of you fell from heaven. That's right. Hey Amen. You know, years ago, old folk used to lie to the children. <clears throat> and their children would ask where babies come from. Old folk used to say the stork brought us. <laughs> big old bird had a big old blanket with a little baby in it and dropped you off in the front of the steps. Amen. And then mama came and brought you in out the court. <laughs> Boy, lies last a long time, don't it? Oh, yes. I mean a long time. Listen at this. For all men have one entrance all into men. life. Listen, you can be an atheist now. All men. But you still came here the same way everybody else did. That's right. You can be a Satanist. <laughs> That's a right. A satanic worshiper. Believe in black magic and all, all that folly. Mm -hmm. But Mr. and Miss. All men. You came here. Mm-hmm. The same way right. a believer did. All men have one entrance into life. All men. All men. Amen. You came here the same way. That's right. Come from the womb of your mother. That's right. Uh -huh. For all men have one entrance into life. Yes. And the light going out. Did you hear that? Amen. And the light. And the light going out. Oh, uh, one day. One day. Your light going to go out. Your spark. And the light. L-I-K-E. Yeah, the light. The, and the light going out. Well, that means you go spark gonna go out. Right. You're going out. What you mean you go out? A light. You die. That's right. You leave here. That's right. Amen. Now some of you gonna die and some gonna be alive when the Lord comes. Amen. But uh, either way, you Amen. leave in here. Oh yeah. The purpose of this time that God have lent to us is that we may get right with Him, get on God's side. That's right. Now view us. We are over the air by God's permission to introduce you to God. That's right. And the devil is over the air. I don't care what kind of media it is. <laughs> they keep you away from God. That's right. So just like God sent very few to bring you to him, yeah. the devil sent a whole lot. And no marvel. They keep you away from him. That's Let's right. listen at this. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. Yes. And no marvel. No, you better begin at verse 13. At verse 13. Listen. For such are a fault. You better begin at verse 12. At verse 12. All right. But what I do that I will do. Yes. That I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion. Uh -huh. That wherein they glory they may be found even as we. Yes. Me. For such are false apostles. Such are false. False apostles. Apostles. Deceitful Tricksters. workers. Transforming themselves. They made themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel. Don't be shocked about it. For Satan himself is the transformed. Devil. You know who the devil is, viewers. Your father. Your father. The devil is the father to many of you that are watching. That's right. Because the Bible says you are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. That's right. Uh -huh. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Yes. There, therefore, it is no great thing. It's no great thing. If his ministers wait a also. Wait, 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 wait. Now, pay attention to the language. Amen. Who ministers? Therefore, it is no great thing if his I ministers. I told you the devil have preachers. That's right. Now, let me give you some news, viewers. The devil have more preachers than God. Oh, yeah. I don't say what? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The oh, yes. devil got way more. The way devil more. always has That's right. more preachers than God. That's right. God says many yeah. false prophets shall come yeah. and shall deceive mm -hmm. many. And many false prophets shall rise. Do you hear this? In St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 11. Many false prophets. Many false prophets shall rise. Shall rise. And shall deceive many. Many. And shall deceive many. 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 And they're here now. Oh, yeah. They are here right now. Anytime a man trying to make you believe it's more than one God, yeah. he's a false prophet. He's a false prophet. There's no baby so about it. He's telling you you don't have to speak in tongue. After he heard the message of speaking in tongue, why, yes, he's a false prophet. He's a false prophet. Amen. He followed women preachers after he heard the scripture that itemized that is wrong. Yeah. Yes, he's a false prophet. If it's your father. Yes. Your father's a false, false prophet. prophet. You're married to a false prophet. You sleep with a false prophet. You eat with a false prophet. You work for a false prophet in a false church. <laughs> That's right. And if you're a member of the false church, you're a hypocrite while you're there. That's right. Listen. And many false prophets shall many. rise. Many. How many? How many? Many. Many. 
Many. Prophet means messenger. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm determined to never. A false prophet, false mean fake. Right. Prophet mean messenger. So yeah. that means God have never even sent that fella. That's right. He's a fake messenger right off the bat. <laughs> That's right. God ain't responsible for him being out there. That's right. God ain't responsible for no man being out there who ain't got sense enough to know it's one. Amen. God ain't never sent a man to tell you there's two gods up there. <laughs> no. Never. No. Amen. He lacked the wisdom of the highest. That's right. Listen. And many false prophets shall rise. And what happened? And shall deceive many. All right, many. let's go back to where we were. Let's go back to the foundation of the thing so I can work briefly. Let's have it. Back in the wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 6. Yes. For all men have one entrance into life uh -huh. and the light going out. Wherefore I prayed. And understanding was given me. Yes. I called upon God. I called upon God. And the spirit of wisdom came to me. Hallelujah. 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 Wait a minute. Mm. How many did he call on? I called upon God. I think you better spell that, will you please? I called upon G-O-D. Viewers, please tell me. Please. Amen. Who are you calling on? Who are you? That's right. Well, let me ask the question this way. What personality are you talking to? Mm. Being that you said that God got three separate distinct personalities. That's right. Which one are you talking to? Which one? The Holy Ghost? Mm. Well, that's God. Yeah. Are you talking to Jesus? Mm -hmm. And if you say yes, which nature? That's right. Which nature are you talking to? That's right. If you're talking to the flesh, let me ruffle your feathers. Yeah. If you're talking to the flesh, yeah. that won't help you. No. Because flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, and flesh and blood don't exist now. That's right. Mm -mm, that's, that's not walking around here no yeah, more. No more. So who are you talking to? What nature? Yeah. Well, I'm talking to God. By what name? By what name? Because Jesus Christ is he. That's right. You better give me Titus 2.13. Titus 2.13. Mm -hmm. I want to again remind you who Jesus is. Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. All of you preachers, when you preach it, when the preachers say Jesus Christ is not God, they saying Jesus Christ is not the Father. That's right. And if, a, and if a preacher don't know who the Father is, you tell him go somewhere and sit down. In fact, go dig a hole and get in and cover yourself. Yeah. Go in your yard and just dig a hole. Somebody say, what you doing? I'm burying myself. <laughs> right. Ain't no need for me to wait to die. I'm just going to bury myself. That's right. And hide myself. That's right. Be ashamed of your ignorance and stupidity. Amen. Jesus Christ is not the father. He isn't. He isn't. He was father before he was born. That's right. In fact, when the prophets talk about him, that's one of the titles God made come out of Isaiah. Yeah. Everlasting, Everlasting father. Everlasting father. Amen. Made Isaiah preach two natures. <clears throat> He didn't preach two gods. He preached two natures. For unto us a child unto is us, born. Child, child. flesh, right. human, that which is begotten is born. That's not spirit. Oh, yes. That nature is lower than the spirit. That's right. That's the nature that the apostle preached and said was made a little lower than the angels, but by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. That's right. That nature right there inherited the name of God, which is the name of Jesus, and inherited the power of God, which calls him the function and the authority of Christ. That's right. Yeah. Unto us a child is Unto born. Unto us. A child is born. Glory be to God. A child, is, a human being is born. Unto us a son is given. Still pointing to the same nature. That's right. Natural. That's right. A son, That's a right. body, a offering, flesh and blood is given. It's put to death. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And he's going to have all power. That's right. If he said all, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. That's right. It is written how the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Holy. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. And his name shall be called Wonderful. That's not his name. That's right. I said that's not his name. That's right. Well, how many names do, 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 do he have, Pastor Jennings? 
Zechariah 14 and 9. Zechariah 14 and that verse 9. And then Acts 9 and 5. And then Acts 9 and 5. All right. And the Lord shall be king. The Lord shall be ruler. Over all the earth. Over all the earth. In that day. In that day. Shall there be one Lord. Shall there be one Lord. And his name. How many names he got? One. Amen. They had to call him many things. Yeah. Or if they God until his name be made known. That's right. I believe Manoah and his wife saw God and wanted to know your name. That's right. He responded, why ask he after my name? My name. Sin is a secret. That's right. Another place, he said, by the name Jehovah, I was not no. known. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. You can see the many titles they will call them. Oh, Holy man. One. Amen. Everlasting Father. Yeah. Almighty God. That's right. Amen. The highest. Lord God Almighty. Many titles. Many titles. Thank God, but when he said the Lord shall be king over all the earth, and in that day. In that day shall there be one Lord. That lets you know that a day was coming. He's going to reveal his one name. That's right. Amen. When the one name will be revealed, salvation comes with it. That's right. Hmm? All right. In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. Who did the Lord say he was? Acts, Acts 9, 5. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. No, I'm the second person in the Godhead. And who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. No, Jesus said, I'm up here with the Lord. <laughs> And the Lord said, I am no, Jesus. No, 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 I'm with the Lord. Me and the Lord is hanging out together. And he said, who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. What you say, infidels. That's right. Unbeliever. That's right. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord. And the Lord is God. Psalms 100 and verse 3. And God wants you to know this. Psalms 100 and verse 3. Says what? Know ye that the Lord. Do you know him tonight? Amen. Oh, it's a God. Wonderful. Eh? Know ye. Do you know him? That's right. My God, I believe the apostle said that I may know him in the power of his resurrection. That's right. Do you know him? Know ye that the Lord. I'm glad I know him. I'm him. glad I know him. That's right. My God, man, all the thousands of letters I get from all around the world of people thanking and praising God Wonderful. for this message and saying how for years they thought it was three. Some saying they thought it was two. Some atheists are writing Saying they didn't believe it was no God at all, but now they know this one God. Wonderful. They know it. Wonderful. Hallelujah. All God wants you to do is, don't, don't, don't fight it, don't fight it. If many things we preach, you fill the doors over your head, thank God for how man shut out many inventions. Yeah. You can rewind it. That's right. Rewind it, get your Bible, follow me, follow oh. me, follow me, follow me. Go ahead. Man. And look how the scriptures harmonize and none of them contradict the other scripture. That's right. It's all blending the prophets and the apostles got the same spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. take God. So they have to agree with each other. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Psalms 100 and verse 3. What is it? Know ye that the Lord. How do you know this, viewers? He is God. The Lord that we serve is God. It is he that hath made us. No, it ain't. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not he. It's them. It is he that hath made but us. But he said, let us make man. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. He said, let us. It is he. Let us. He. Do you hear the English grammar? Let us. He. <laughs> What happened? It is he that hath made us. It is he. Hallelujah. That hath made us. He, he made us. And not we ourselves. Not we ourselves. We are his people. Uh-oh. Hallelujah. That established what we've been preaching. That's if right. we are his people, his people, then we are his church. That's right. That's right. Churches don't, don't belong to me. Amen. Mm -mm, don't belong to nobody, nobody but God. We are his people. We are his church. And the sheep of his pasture. Oh, we are his followers. Mm. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. And when you say I'm with Paul, I'm with Peter, I'm with Apollos, oh, no, 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 just shut your mouth shut up. Shut your mouth. We are sheep. That's right. Of his. Of his pasture. His pasture. Mm -hmm. We are in his field. Go ahead. Huh? That's right. All right. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Give chapter and verse again. Psalms 100, now we're at verse 4. I uh, know you, you didn't finish Titus 2.13 oh, yet. Go right. back to Titus 2.13. Amen. I want to remind them that says Jesus Christ is not God 
because God is the Father, because the word of God says, Hath we not all one Father? One father. Hath not one God created us? That's and right. here we come along and tell you, Jesus Christ is that Father. The flesh is not the Father, but the spirit that was in that flesh is the Father. And the body, amen, that the spirit was hiding in, that body was the Son of God. Right. And the Father of that body, the maker of that body, the king of that prince was prince. God. Go ahead. Spirit was not the prince. That's right. You know, a prince is lower than the king. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. I say a prince is lower than a king That's right. and the flesh and blood in nature was lower than the nature of the spirit. That's right. The spirit is never called prince. The no. spirit is king. king. That's what the Bible said. They have killed the prince of life, life and the prince of life was the son of God that was murdered and was put to death in the flesh. Thank God. And then the king went and got the body that had the title prince and took it all over in glory. That's right. Right. Can you get what I'm telling you? Wonderful. Oh, praise the name of the Father. Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. <laughs> I love this. I just love it. I love it. I love it, Williams. I can't help myself. I know it. I Listen know it. at this T now. Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. What is that? Looking for that blessed hope. Wait a minute. What are we doing? Looking for that blessed hope. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Looking for. Yes. Hallelujah. You better put a search on. Looking. Looking the Bible for. Bible said we're looking for. That blessed hope. All right. Here's one title mentioned. One title. Right. One title that's mentioned here, mm -hmm. Bless Hope. And, and the glorious appearing of the great God. Next title, mm -hmm. great God. And our Savior. Next title, Savior. And what, 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 who is it? Jesus Christ. One name. Amen. That's the blessed hope. That's right. One name. That's the great the God. Great God. One name. Savior. That's the Savior. That's right. And who did the Bible say the great God is? Jesus Christ. So when any preacher, any preacher, I don't care if he claim he got so much anointing, his body outshined the sun. My Lord. But here's an eclipse coming now. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Glory to God. Here's an eclipse coming now in the word of God that's going to block that hypocrite light. Looking for Any that. preacher that oh, says Jesus is not the Father, he's saying he's not God. That's right. That's right. Jesus is the great God. That's right. Looking he's for the great Father. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. He's the great God. He's the great Father. That's right. Preach it. He's the everlasting Father. That's right. Hallelujah. And that flesh was the Prince of Peace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Go back, hey man, to where you were. To the original thing. Back in the wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and at verse 7. Listen at this. Wherefore I pray. There ain't no need for no man try to preach God if he, God don't have not revealed himself. That's true. He's going to ruin it. That's right. Huh? That's right. I mean, ain't no need for no one to go no get for that. Hey man, a big old canvas and spend a bunch of money on a paint canvas and expensive paint and, you know, goose feather brushes. <laughs> and, That's, right. Huh? That's right. Get a custom made painter smock and hat. Yes. And you can't even uh, put down a straight line? Amen. You just stick to crayons, Crayola. <laughs> That's, <laughs> right. That's right. Amen. Get a little bit of Crayola. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Something you can scribble out. Amen. They'll go spend a bunch of money yeah. on something that you don't know. That's you right. preachers, why in the world? Listen, viewers, viewers, viewers. This is why Jesus warned us of the false prophets. That's right. When a man tell you there's more than one God or make Jesus anybody else, anybody else. other than God or son of God. That's right. Why? Because he fulfilled both, both areas That's right. in nature. That's Spirit, right. God. Yeah. Flesh, son of God. And Jesus answered and said unto them. Don't you know those two lies there? He said that the father had life in himself. Yeah. So you, you better read that. Yes. As the Father. Someone says, it's like you're preaching two gods. No, it's no. two lives. That's right. Let me show you. Saint John. My flesh right here is a natural life. But the God that is in my flesh is an eternal life. That's right. Why you think when God made man, one part of man come from above yeah. and another part of man come from the dust. That's the right. Bible says he made Adam from Adam. the dust of the oh, ground. Man. But when he breathed into Adam, that breath didn't come from below. Right. That breath came from above. Right. Well, Pastor Jennings, the Bible didn't say that breath came from above or it didn't. Oh, it Don't did. you know that uh, life is a gift? Right. And Bible says every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above, comes down. 
from the Father of lights of whom there is no variables, no shadow of turning. That's why when a man dies, just like it takes spirit to go in the body to give the body motion, when a man dies, he separates spirit from man. That's right. And now the spirit go back in a total different direction from where the flesh came. That's right. Give me Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 12, 12 if I'm correct. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Oh, God, let me split the molecule of the scriptures in, here. In Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 7. Listen! Then shall the dust. Then! Hallelujah. Oh, the God shall the dust. Return to the earth. No, it goes up. Then shall the dust return to the earth. No, it go to heaven. Then shall the dust return to the earth. So I wanted to say to you that are watching, who, who mother may die, father, brother, sister, wife, children, and then a false prophet get at the funeral and pretend like he preaching and tell you, I see your mother up there. I see your father up there. Right. I see your daughter. Mm-hmm. That's up right. there, he's a liar. That's right. <laughs> he's a liar. Amen. Your mama, your brother, your father that's dead they ain't up there. Then shall the dust return they down there to the earth. You as return it was. where you come from. As it was. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. They lie to you anytime. Yes, they will. Here you grieving that someone died and they still up there got you thinking they in heaven. That's right. They know more in heaven than a circus is in New Jerusalem. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Not at all. Amen. What did he say? Then shall the dust return to the earth as That's it where was. you're going. You go back to the earth where you come from. And the spirit. Oh, look at the separation. And the spirit. Shall return unto God. That return to God. Who gave well, I thought it. you said nobody go to heaven. God is in heaven, Pastor Jennings. Don't narrow God down. Just heaven. Heavy. God is everywhere. That's right. When the Bible said the spirit go back to God, that simply means the spirit go back in the presence of God. That's and it. God is everywhere. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. I read that when a man died, his spirit go upward. Yeah. Well, that's heaven. You're so narrow. You're so narrow. Let me educate you. When they said the spirit go upward, that simply means when the body die, the body go down. Whether it hit the floor or hit the bed, it goes down. Go upward just simply means it ascends from its former place. Who knoweth the spirit of man? Listen! In, in Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 21. <laughs> Who knows? Who knoweth the spirit Who of man? Thank God the spirit of man. That goeth upward. Who, that goes upward. And the spirit of the beast. The spirit of the beast. That goeth down. So when a man die, when it says it go upward, it mean to take off the heaven. That <laughs> simply means his this inner spirit ascends. That simply means it ascends out from the body. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Wonderful. Well, my mama not in heaven. No. No. Why? Jesus said, no man. That's right. Had to send it up in heaven at any, at time, any time, but he that came down. That's right. And the one that came down was not flesh and blood. No. The one that came down was spirit. Spirit. No one said, I don't believe that. Just go back to the first chapter of Luke. Yeah. It says what came on Mary. That's the right. The power of the, the highest. power of the highest. It says the Holy Ghost. And shall the, come upon you. And the angel. So that which descended is the same thing that ascended. That's right. That which descended is the same thing that ascended. That's right. Let's see what descended. Let's see what came down on Mary. In Luke 1 and verse 35. Says what? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come no, upon you. No, 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 no. The Holy Flesh. Ghost. Flesh. Holy Ghost. Flesh. The Holy Ghost. Flesh. The Holy Ghost. The same thing that descended Amen. is the same thing that ascended. That's right. The same thing that came down That's right. is the same thing that went up. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Read what came down. And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. shall come upon thee. Go and come on, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the power of the highest. The hallelujah. Go and take God. The power of God shall overshadow thee. Wait a minute. It's going to overshadow you. That's right. Then what? Therefore also that holy thing. Now, there's a thing. Ten, that's the right. Holy Ghost going over, uh, going to come on you. Come upon you. Uh, uh, going to come upon you. Mm-hmm. Power and, of the highest and, and, and shall and overshadow And the power thee. of the highest going to overshadow you. That's right. See, that's coming down on you. That's right. But uh, it's going to make something on the inside of you. That's right. They ain't bringing flesh and bones and blood and hair from heaven. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll let all that be made in David's house where it is. That's right. Huh? That's right. We're, 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 God will let all that be made in David's house yeah. where it is. Where it is. And when he put all that on, he's yeah. putting on Abraham's seed. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Amen. When he put on flesh, 
Now, you preachers said God became a man. You're so foolish so fool. and so deceived of the devil. Yeah. God didn't become a man. No. God made flesh yeah. and then took on the man that he made. That's right. That's what it meant. God was manifested in, in the, the flesh. flesh. You want to hear God? You'll hear him in the Son of God. That's you right. want to see the power of God? Look at the work of the Son of God. Right. You want to see the miracles of God? Look at the deeds of the Son of God. Yeah. Manifested in the manifested. flesh. I want to see God raise the dead. Lazarus! Come forth. That's right. I want to see God walk on water. I can't see spirit. Yeah. So what I'm going to do? I take the flesh and let it just walk on water. That's right. Go contribute to the waves. That's right. Make them defy all the laws of gravity. Preach it, brother. And just walk on water. Hey, hallelujah. 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 God hallelujah. Hallelujah. was manifested in the flesh. He didn't say he became flesh like no. you fellas said. He was manifest. manifest. Hallelujah. In the flesh. In the flesh. Seen in the flesh. That's right. Preached in the flesh. Yes. Healed in the flesh. Yeah. Walked in the flesh. Yeah. Talked in the flesh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Did all that in the flesh. In the flesh. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. In the flesh. In, in the, the body. Flesh. In the man. Christ Jesus, the Son of God. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on, Elder Williams. And the angel answered and said unto her, What? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Yeah, that's what came down. And the power of the highest shall power overshadow the highest thee. Shall overshadow thee. Therefore, Therefore also that holy also thing that shall be born of thee. Holy thing. Holy thing. The holy, holy thing. thing was made by the Holy Ghost. That's right. Now once the Holy Ghost made a holy thing, then the Holy Ghost put the thing on. That's right. And then the thing that he put on was a covering for the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You couldn't see the Holy Ghost because it was covered by the holy thing. That's right. Go ahead. Are you getting me? Go ahead. Someone said, where's all that at, Pastor Jerry? Isaiah 45, 15. Isaiah 45 and verse 15. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 45, 15. Let's Amen. lift up the scriptures and exercise our senses here. Isaiah 45 and verse 15. All right. Verily, thou art a God that hidest thyself. Wait a minute. Thou art a God that do what? That hideth thyself. Tell the world who is it? O God of Israel, <laughs> the Savior. What? 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 <laughs> o God of Israel, the Savior. God is what? The Savior. Go back to Titus 2.13. Back to Titus 2.13. I want you to remember that, viewers. Amen. God says he's the Savior. The Savior. In fact, I believe one of the prophets, God spoke and said, look unto me all the ends all of the ends earth, of and be ye saved. That's right. For I am God, That's right. and there is none else. None else. So remember, God said he's the Savior. He's the Savior. Now look how the Bible harmonized. Titus 2 and verse 13. Says what? Looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed and hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God. Who is it? And our Savior. Wait a minute, the great God, and who else is he? And our Savior. Who did the Bible say he is? Jesus Christ. Now how many saviors we got, viewers? That's right. Is God the Savior, and Jesus Christ the second Savior? Amen. Don't be a fool. I'm shocked at the fool. That's right. You only got one Savior. And there is no God else beside me. Do you hear this? In Isaiah 45 and verse 21. There is what? And there is no God else beside there me. There is no God. No God else beside me. Besides us. Me. Them. Me. They. Me. We. Me. And what else did he say? A just God. Oh, uh, I'm a just God. And a Savior. God is what? And a Savior. God is what? And the Savior. What the Apostle Paul preached to Titus. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I dare you to tell me there's two saviors, heathen. Mm -hmm. There is none beside me. What? There is none beside me. What did he say? Look unto me. Give, give chapter and verse. Isaiah 45, now we're at verse 22. You bunch of church heathen. Look unto Anytime me. Anytime you got more than one God, you's a heathen. That's right. Huh? That's right. You's a heathen, you's an antichrist, you's a non-believer. Amen. You got two gods in heaven. Amen. You got a little Jesus and a big God. You's a heathen. That's right. You're a Hallelujah. bunch of heathens. Hallelujah. You're a bunch of heathens. That's right. I say you're a bunch of heathens and hellions. Amen. What is it? Isaiah 45 and verse 22. All right. Look unto me. Look unto us. Me. They. Me. Them. Me. We. Me. Look unto me. All right, viewers. If it's three distinct persons, which personality are you looking at? That's right. I would like to know, right, man? <laughs> That's right. Do you hear what he said? Look unto me. God talking. Look unto me. Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah 45 and verse 22. Give begin at verse uh, 20. Isaiah 45, we're at verse 20. Real quick. Assemble yourselves and come. Come on together. Draw near together. Draw near together. Ye that are escaped of the nations. Yes. They have no knowledge. 
that set up the wood of their graven image. Now, nah, that's my argument. You have no knowledge. No you knowledge. in these churches and these men trying to tell hey, you about brother? God, separating Jesus from God, don't know the human from the divine, mm -hmm. flesh and blood in heaven, like one false prophet in Florida said when Jesus died, he took buckets of blood. And then took it around the heaven and, 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 and spread it all around the throne. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. Now, viewers, when these false prophets tell you that Jesus took blood up in heaven, just ask them, That's where right. did he get it? That's right. Because he was pierced in the side. That's right. On the cross. On the cross. And out came blood and water. That's right. Where did he get it? Amen. Where did he get it from? Amen. Where did he get it from? Where did he, get it? Where did he, get he lost it? his blood on the cross. That's right. Who blood did he get? If yeah. you tell me he got his own, I'm going to make you find it. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. You're so foolish. You're so full of hellionism. They have no knowledge. They have no knowledge. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven they image. They set up the wood of their graven image. And pray unto a God. They pray unto a God. That cannot save. Amen. Now, viewers, I want you to hear the old troublemaker because I'm about to burn your britches. Yeah. Amen. The God of Moses. Hallelujah. God of Abraham. Yeah. God of Isaac. God of Jacob. God of Enoch. Right. Go ahead, brother. God of Elijah and Elisha. God of Jehu. Mm. God of David. God of Solomon. Yeah. Go ahead. God of Daniel. God of Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. The God of Adam. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. The God of Lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The God of Nebuchadnezzar. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The God of Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. The God of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. Yes. He's the only true Savior. That's right. And that I may add. The God of Pastor Gino. Jenner. Oh, my Lord. Now, I know, I know. <laughs> I know that bothers you. Oh, yes. I know you. that make you angry. That's right. Pastor Jennings' God yeah. is God. That's right. Did you hear what I'm telling you? The God of the truth of God is God. That's right. Do you hear what God says here? And pray unto a God that cannot save. You pray unto a God that can't save. Tell ye and bring them near. Tell ye, God said, come on and get close. Yea, let them take counsel take, together. Take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient times? Who time? hath declared this from ancient times? Who hath told it from that time? What is it? Have not I, the Lord? I am. And there is no God else beside me. Ain't no God besides me. A just I'm God. A just God. And a Savior. And a Savior. There is none beside There's me. There is none beside me. Look unto me. Look at him. Look at him. Look, Look at, at him. him. That's right. Personalizing his glory. That's right. Look unto me. And be ye saved. Be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. Who is it? For I am God. No. We are God. I am God. They are. I am God. I am God. I am God. And there is none else. If God said, listen. Amen. These dumb men who come later yeah. and are dumb enough to tell you there's more than one. I advise you, yeah. listen to the one God yes. who know more than anybody. That's right. I mean, if there's somebody else with him, he ought to know. That's right. But look at what God declares. Isaiah 45 and verse 22. What? Look unto me and be ye saved. Who is it? All the ends of the earth. Why? For I am God. I am God. And there is none else. There's none else. I have sworn by myself. I have sworn. Holy, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? I'm trying to say hallelujah and oh boy at the same time. It, it came out hallelujah. <laughs> you hear what he said? I have sworn by myself. I have sworn by myself. God, did you hear this? I have sworn by myself. By myself. The word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness. The word has gone out in my mouth in righteousness. And what's right? And shall not return. It ain't returning. That unto me. Unto me. Every knee shall bow. Wait, wait, wait. 
you better balance that out. Yes. With the book of Philippians, book if I'm correct. That's right. Hey Amen. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is God. That's right. Now you got to tell me how many we got to bow to. That's right. Do you hear what the prophet said in the book of Isaiah? Look unto me. Look unto me. That unto me. Uh, that unto me. Every knee shall bow. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall swear. Every tongue shall swear or confess or admit. Surely one shall say in the Lord. That what? Have I righteousness and strength. In the Lord. In the Lord. I have righteousness. And strength. And I have strength. Yeah. All right. It mm -hmm. says every knee shall bow. Shall bow. And every tongue shall, shall swear. swear to him. That's right. All right. Let's see. Do we got to do the same thing with Jesus? Now in the book of Philippians chapter 2. And we'll start at verse 9. Now this is for all you pulpit devils. That's right. That say Jesus Christ is not the Father or is not God. Right. You are liars and hellions and heathens. That's right. And sent by the devil to lead the people astray. That's right. And I encourage all viewers, stay away <laughs> from right. any man, I don't care who he is, that preach Jesus Christ is not God that preach there's more than one God that try to make Jesus a little God next to a big God. They're nothing but a fool that deserve the lake of fire. That's right. All right. Philippians chapter 2 at verse 10. What is it? That at the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow. Every knee should bow. Of things in heaven. Of things in heaven. And things in earth. And things in earth. And things, and things under, the under the earth. And that every tongue. Every tongue. Should confess. That what? That Jesus Christ is Lord. Wait, Jesus Christ is who? That Jesus Christ is Lord. Who, how, how much is, how strong is it? And that every tongue should confess. How strong is it? That Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He's Lord? That Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory. He figures four, five. One Lord. And then Psalms 103. Psalms 4 and verse 5. One Lord. Wait a minute. Jesus Christ is who? Jesus Christ is Lord. And how many Lords we got? One Lord. How many Lords we got? One Lord. How many Lords we got? One Lord. All right, let's give me Psalms 100 and verse Psalms 3. Psalms 100 and, and verse 3. let's see who the prophet said the Lord is. Know ye that the Lord. Do you know him? He is God. Hey, viewers, that's upset with me now. <laughs> Do you know him? That's right. Do you know him? Know ye that the Lord. If you don't know him, I'm going to introduce you to him tonight. God knows. That's right. Know ye that, that the Lord. The Lord. Tell the world who God said he is. He is God. And how many lords do we have? One Lord. And every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that what? That Jesus Christ is Lord. To who? To the glory of God the Father. That's wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Wonderful. We only got one. Only one. Hallelujah. We only have one. Only one. Wisdom show you that is only one. Only one. All right. Acts 2.38, let's close out. Wisdom show you is one only. One only. And in fact, after the glorification one time, he was up on a mountain and his body did glisten. And yeah. it's written how they saw no man yeah. save Jesus only. Save Jesus only. Huh? That's right. <laughs> they saw no man right. save Jesus only. Jesus. And wisdom will tell you it's one, one only. only. One only. Huh? One only. One only, I say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God and that one is Jesus only. Jesus only. All right, Acts 2, 38 says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Come on back to Bible. Come on back to Bible, viewer. Make 2021 your time to make your exodus out of your church. Leave your church. All you pastors that got your congregations in these twisted, hell-bound, devil-deceived organizations, you being led to hell by your overseer. Come out. Come out. That's right. Come out. That's come right. Out. Come out from among them. I don't care if you got two members. I don't care if you got 2,000. That's right. Come out from these fake organizations that's leading you to hell. That's right. Stay away from these fake fellowship services yeah. where a bunch of Pentecostal and apples with a bunch of Stalics and non-denominationals come together with women preachers. Some don't believe it. To God, some don't believe it. Speak in tongues, some yeah. don't believe it. Don't care how you're baptized. First lady, second lady, first man. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We don't believe nothing. Yeah. Amen. But we'll take God for what the word of God says here. That's right. Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. That's what everybody better do. You better get ready to do this. Oh, yeah. Say anything you want about the truth of God. Call me arrogant. Sometimes they say, you know, you can look in his eyes <laughs> and see how arrogant he is. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> You look in my eyes that much. <laughs> That's right. He's arrogant. I can't see it. Amen. <laughs> 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 
Wonderful, brother. Call me whatever you like, you bunch of eye-looking heathens. That's right. You better repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, or you and your eyes going to be in hell. That's right. Get mad as you please. Mad as you please. You get mad until you explode like a light bulb when it blows. That's but right. But you're going to come back to the Bible or you're going to be ushered in the lake of fire. That's right. Listen. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent now. I, repent. Leave your church and repent. repent for being there. That's right. Leave your church. Get off your position. Leave your instruments. Leave your organ, your piano, your drums. Amen. Walk out with your hymn book or leave it. That's right. You can take your choir over if you want to or not. Or not. You can donate it to baptism. <laughs> <laughs> Take your little hymn book, amen, get out of there. Get out, that's right. Repent and be baptized. Oh, thank God, you know, what well, somebody said, you know, you can tell Pastor Jen and the William, they enjoy this thing. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. I love it. I oh, mean, I love yes. it. Yes. I mean, it's killing me, brother. It's, it's killing, killing me. me. Too, yes, Pastor. it is, but. I love it when you can too. care the wisdom of God for yourself. That's right. How the scriptures just flow so beautifully. That's so beautifully. Right. Amen. I suppose this is good <laughs> for the present distress. That's Repent right. Repent of your sins, viewers, and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't have that, you ain't never been saved, and you're never going to be saved be until saved. you come along and comply with the word of God when you hear it. That's Anybody right. here want to obey what the word of God says and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ tonight? Stand on your feet if you want it. If not, all right, we thank God for you. Now, now we already went back to our regular time on Sunday mornings, and we're going to go back to our regular time on Sunday evening starting next Sunday. Right. Amen. So instead of our webcast being 5 o'clock, prayer will begin at 5 o'clock, and we're going to move our webcast from 5 to 6. So, viewers, our evening webcast will start at 6 o'clock beginning this Sunday coming. Yeah. Amen. And then uh, that way prayer will start at uh, 5 to 5.30. And praise service will be brief from 5.30 to 6. Yeah. And then, God willing, we'll work on you. Amen. We just kind of slowly but surely when you get you back in the sink of things. That's right. But, you know, a lot of folk get comfortable. Oh, I'm going home early. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. You know, one day, <laughs> amen. You know, some, you know, Pastor Paul one time preached late all night. All night. Amen. Long preaching. Long preaching. Until you Tasha's fell asleep and fell out the third loft. That's right. Amen. But by the power of God, the apostle embraced him and he said, Trouble not yourself. That's amen. Right. He, he, by the great the power of God, brought him back. Yeah. All right. Amen. So uh, you, that's. Don't want to come back to church at night because you're sitting home doing absolutely nothing Amen. but uh, but Skyping to some cheap man or some cheap woman Wonderful. or sitting there talking to your boyfriend trying to plead him not to leave you <laughs> or you're begging your girlfriend not to leave you or you're trying to hook up with snook up. <laughs> That's right. I bet if your job told you to work tonight, you would do it. Oh, yeah. But it goes to show you that some of you that received the Holy Ghost you're still going to hell mm. because with the Holy Ghost, you're not fully committed to God's everlasting word. Mm. You know, in order to go right with God and go back with him, you got to be willing to surrender. Mm. It may be hard sometimes, but when you're willing to do it, you make an attempt. You may slip and fall and can't get successful that time, but come back. That's right. Regroup. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Stay at it. Stay at it. Hallelujah. That's, that's what I mean by running at a pace that you will survive. Stay at it. That's it. Hallelujah. Amen. Let these sayings sink in your mind. May God keep you. May God preserve you. It's our prayer. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Brother Dan Thompson will close us out again in prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, again, Lord God, we come before thee to praise and honor thee, O God, for your goodness and your kindness and your tender mercy that you've shown towards us. We thank you, Lord God, for there's no God in heaven or in earth like thee. We praise you and we honor you, Lord Jesus. We pray, O oh God, you continue to bless your word as it goes out over the airways, O oh God, that it will open the eyes and ears of men and women everywhere. Let them consider, I pray, O oh God, the word that's being spoken. And bless them, I pray, O oh God, to hearken to it and to turn to thee before it's everlastingly too late. Continue to bless our pastor, O oh God, and the ministers everywhere. And give us strength as we continue this journey until you come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
Amen.